Hi Aries friends, I hope you're all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for October 2021 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And also the rules can be reversed because this is general. So let's see. <clears throat> what is the overall energy for Aries for... October. Ooh, okay, and we have chaos. All right. So <clears throat> I'm actually going to clarify this. I'm doing like a, a little bit of a different spread this time around. <clears throat> and of course my throat is gonna start acting up as soon as I start the video. So let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So with this chaos, I mean, it's not always negative. It can feel that way. Um, and I feel like for a lot of you, this has probably already started. So you're already feeling like things are kind of being shooken up um, <clears throat> in the air, um, not really knowing what's going on or where you're headed. Things seem to be um, shifting, possibly in a, in a very, um, at a very quick pace. So let's see, Aries. All right. So for the recent past, we have the Ten of Wands. For your energy, we have <clears throat> Death as well as the Nine of Swords. For another person here or person you're dealing with, we have the Magician and the Four of Swords. Coming up in the near future for you, we have the Knight of of wands for them, <clears throat> the wheel of fortune, and a potential outcome here is the six of cups. Okay, Aries, let me just move these just a little bit. Okay, so it feels like this has been a situation with somebody here that has possibly been dragging out for a very long time. Um, it might feel like, you know, it's just getting to that point or it recently got to that point where you just feel like this is just so heavy, like I just can't do this anymore, okay? So this could be for the both of you or just um, one of you. For you, yeah, I feel like you're, you're going through an ending here. You're facing some kind of a... A shift and this shift does involve an ending possibly with this person um, or something within the connection so it's either that this person may have put an end to the situation or or you're the one who is trying to really come to terms with an ending or trying to end this situation however it's causing you some stress it's causing you some pain it's causing you some anxiety um, and that's why we have chaos. For them, I feel like this person is trying to... <clears throat> they're trying to put in some effort. They're still trying to manifest something within this connection with you. But it also feels like they're not really um, taking major steps. It's more like, yeah, you know, this is what I would want but I'm not sure if they're actually um, taking much action at the moment. It feels like they're just kind of kind of resting. So we'll see more when we clarify. Um, but coming up, <clears throat> definitely I feel like you are taking charge here. Um, you are beginning to move in a particular direction, whereas this person is um, facing a major, major shift as well. All right, it's just that I feel like you're going through the shift um, currently, whereas for this person it is coming up, all right, and the the potential outcome here being the Six of Cups, it could be a reconciliation, it could be something from the past, again, we will see more when we clarify, so I'm going to start by actually clarifying that Chaos card. So let's see, Chaos, what is this Chaos, what do we need to know about this Chaos? So this would be for like the first half of, of October, okay? But time is fluid, so do also keep that in mind. 
All right, and we have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups, and <clears throat> the Nine of Wands. All right, so whatever this um, shift is, whatever this, I mean, I'm, it's almost coming in like as a tower moment. I feel like it's creating some confusion for you, almost like you don't know exactly where it is that, that you want to go with this or where it is that you are heading. There might be a little bit of back and forth when it comes to when it comes to your emotions, like how it is that you feel about this. So I feel like like maybe one day you're feeling like you can handle this, like you got it under control. And then um, on another day, it's feeling like it's something very, very challenging for you, something that is creating a lot of pain. And this is what makes it so um, challenging. And I feel like the message for you here, though, is to fully, as much as you can, actually embrace this. Don't give up. Don't give up on believing in in that in that this situation is happening for a reason for your highest good ultimately, all right? And it is going to push you forward in in one way or another, regardless of what ends up happening with this person. I, I'm also getting here that the message here for you is that emotionally, you will be able to recover from this. It's feeling a little bit um, confusing at the moment, as I said, but emotionally, you will be able to feel a little bit better. Just don't, don't give up. Don't let this get the best of you. All right. <clears throat> so let's see this Ten of Wands and then we see past. Just a couple cards. I don't want to focus too much on the past. We have the Lovers. Anything else? And the Eight of Wands. Ooh, all right. So, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a connection that was very, very strong. I feel like it could even be one of those connections that started very um, suddenly, or maybe there was a point in time where things were just really moving forward. Um, like lots of communication or just a lot of focus in making this work or in resolving whatever issues there were. But something, something hasn't hasn't worked out apparently, all right? That's why we have the Ten of Wands here. I feel like either you or the other person, and I'm mostly, I'm mostly getting that it is you, um, you recently felt like you just can't do this anymore and that you just need to release this burden even if it is something that you really wanted, even if you do still really feel um, the strength and the intensity of this connection. For some of you, I feel like there may have also been some communication issues like misunderstandings, things like that. All right, let's see what's going on with you here. Let's see death. Ooh, okay. <laughs> the Eight of Cups and the Chariot, clarifying death. Okay, you, you're not kidding. You're not kidding. You're walking away from something here. Again, roles can be reversed. You are really trying to detach yourself emotionally from a situation. You're trying to move in a completely new direction. You're trying to finally take action on this because this could be something that you were thinking about for a while and I feel like right now you're at, you're really putting your best foot forward when it comes to moving forward and actually taking action on detaching yourself and on sticking to this decision to allow this to just be, you know, to allow this ending to just be regardless of, of, you know, who ended it. It doesn't even matter. Maybe nobody really ended it, and maybe it's just you wanting to um, just detach yourself from the situation. I feel like, again, it to you, this is feeling like, like you don't know where you're going. Like, okay, so what's next? You know, I'm ending this. Okay, I'm pulling away. So where does that leave me? And, and it's like you really have, um, I feel like you don't really have a sense of direction, and that is what is creating this chaos for you and this Nine of Swords energy, which is keeping you a little bit stuck in your head. All right, we have Strength. The Seven of Swords and the Devil. These are your own doubts here. These are your own doubts. Again, the message here is that you, you have the strength to move forward, all right, with this decision. Um, I'm fully getting here that the decision that you are making to move away from this connection 
is actually in your highest good. Again, always follow your own intuition. All right, this is just what I'm getting in this particular reading. You're being encouraged that you do, you do have that strength and actually moving forward is what's actually going to make you even stronger. This is, this is a test of strength for you at the moment. All right, those self-doubts, the, um, the unknown, having to face the unknown, that's, that's the devil's energy, all right? That is what is toxic. These thoughts of not being able to move forward with it and wanting to kind of allow yourself to sneak back to where you were, that's the devil's energy again. All right, just your own um, self-doubts, negative talk, feeling like, you know, you can't do this. Um, you know, anything like that, anything like that. That's just, that's just your mind talking to you, which it's ego and it's not based in truth. It's not based in reality. So let's see what's going on with this person. See the magician? <clears throat> The Knight of Wands. So this person um, is still trying to manifest this again, but I feel like they're doing it in a way where it's not very um, consistent, it's not very stable, it's not very mature yet. That's the issue here. Let me get one more. The Six of Wands. Which actually landed in reverse. I don't do um, reversals in the Zodiac readings. Um, but that reversed <laughs> uh, Six of Wands really um, stood out to me. There is an issue here with this person either concerning their ego, all right, which is holding them back, or concerning um, possibly what other people think of them or how they view themselves in terms of society, like how they fit into society. So there's something here, um, or in, if it's not society, it could just be their close circle of um, friends, community, family, whatever. Possibly even work-related. And this is something that is influencing them in a way where it's keeping them from fully being able to manifest what it is that they want. Um, I feel like there's some, this person is like impulsive, so, and they're feeling like a lot of like fiery energy, so definitely some of you could be dealing with another um, fire sign here, doesn't have to be, um, but yeah, it's kind of like, you know, they want this, but then we have, let's see, let's see the support source. It's almost like they really want this victory, they want to take action. What is the issue here? Death, the Fool, and the Ten of Swords. This person is feeling this ending from you. They're feeling this energy. Um, I don't feel like that is their their obstacle, that's not an obstacle for them at all. Actually, they're definitely feeling a lot of pain when it comes to this ending, all right, with this Ten of Swords being here. I feel like they're trying to really process it at the moment, so I feel like this is actually unrelated to the first part <clears throat> here that I was talking about, so I might pull one more card here. Um, this is somebody who wants to, to take action. This is somebody who wants to move forward but isn't doing so at the moment. They're feeling this ending from you. It's creating a lot of pain for them. And I feel like they're kind of just um, sitting, sitting in it at the moment, almost just like trying to process it or just trying to fully um, recover from what it is that they're feeling. Maybe this person didn't even realize how it was that they were feeling <clears throat> until this ending came to be. So let me see, let me just get one more here for this magician. We have the world. 
feel like this person actually, there is something here that this person is trying to end as well. Unrelated to you though, I feel like there is something in their life that needs to close out and this could be something that is um, holding them back. And whatever that is, it is related to um, to how they're viewed by others or to how they view themselves, which might be um, keeping them from being able to fully close out that chapter or whatever that is. And I feel like there's been a lot of in and out. So there is, it's interesting because I feel like there has been action that has been taken actually. Um, but it's like in and out, like doing a little bit and then going back on it. Um, doing something and then but not doing enough and they're doing this in hopes that things are just going to happen that this cycle will just kind of close out on its own um like in some kind of a magical way when in reality um they need to be like this fool and take a leap of faith and actually do what you're doing even if you're doing it um for something else let's say you're you're um creating this ending for this connection you're doing it right this person is kind of going around and around um, a little bit back and forth in whatever it is that they need to put an ending to. So that is um, what has been going on or what is currently going on. So let's see this Knight of Wands for what is coming up for you. We have the Three of Swords and the King of Wands. This is you being able to... Um, to fully recover from this pain, you you are faced with this pain, you are faced with a challenge right now that is very difficult for you. Um, <clears throat> but this is you actually taking control over that. For some of you, I feel like this is also um, bringing in somebody here. Again, it's coming in as another fire sign. So, yeah, Manix, let me see the cards, please. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. Let's see for your person here, the Wheel of Fortune, because there's some kind of a change here, a major shift coming up for them. Could be unexpected as well. We have the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. All right, okay, so there's a plan here. There's a turning of the wheel in a new direction. This person is getting on track, trying to move things in a different direction, trying to have a new beginning here. And I feel like they're coming up with a plan to move in your direction, which would explain the Six of Cups as the potential outcome here. So let's clarify that. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this Six of Cups, right, there's a reconciliation here with somebody from your past, could be this person. Um, I feel like that is coming. That is a potential, uh, like the more that you work on yourself and the more healed that you are, the more nurtured that you are by your own self. And I feel like actually, you know, um, because this is um, the Queen of Pentacles and we just had the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles here concerning your person, um, this is definitely their energy showing up here as well, all right, for some of you. Getting on that right path, taking care of each of you, taking care of your own self for whatever it is that needs to happen. So yes, again, the message for you is things might seem chaotic at the moment. Keep moving forward because this is leading you to fully conquering um, your wounds and your pain. And it's also leading to something very beautiful coming in, all right, possibly from your past. So Aries, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. So yeah, it might feel for at the moment like it's a very unsafe time period because of the chaos, not knowing where you're going. You are safe, you are being taken care of, all right? So yeah, those were your messages, Aries. I thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated and much love.